Can it be more exciting? Well, as exciting anyway. Peter Russell Clark, uh, our <laughs> favourite celebrity chef, has arrived. He's wearing his cravat, he's wearing his smock, and he's been carrying a big bag of food. He uh, has promised that he's going to make a, a little vegan number for these two here, and for the rest of us, he's got some very special culinary delights mm-hmm. on the go. He's mm-hmm. just struck a small problem. We uh, spent a lot of time sourcing a barbecue for this morning. He said, I must have a barbecue to cook on. And we said, anything for Peter Russell Clark. He's arrived. He's walked through the crowd over to the barbecue, which is on the side of the, uh, the veranda here at the Northcote Social Club. He's opened the lid of the barbecue. And there was muscles. With a little <laughs> magic ball. No, he's done the finger test. He's, oh, not the he's, finger test. He's run the finger over the top of the barbecue and what he's seen he didn't like very much. Really? Uh, yeah, he's a professional chef. It's not clean. It's not clean enough. So uh, at the moment we are scrambling for some cleaning apparatus. Well, why, why do we need apparatus? We've got a whole... We've got like 400 people here. And they've every, all got every... tongues. <laughs> Come on. 80% of them have tongues. So <laughs> at the very least... We can find some off fingernails. Anyway, have, uh, Peter's just over there. Have we found something to clean it with, Peter? Yeah. Are we? Are we? Is, is the go head on? Yeah, it's all happening. He's look, getting his photo he's taken. He's actually sorry. just getting his photo <laughs> taken. All right, coming up very, very soon, and we are all going to eat well because Peter Russell Clark is in the house, and Eddie Current Suppression Ring are going to rock us into Oz Music Month. <laughs> or what we could do is throw to Robbie Buck in the kitchen. Yes, thank you very much. I've just stepped off the uh, veranda here at the Northcote Social Club in Melbourne and uh, down to a secondary veranda where a man wearing a smock and cravat is looking a little bit apprehensive. Now, Peter, the barbecue is just there. And uh, what's gone on? What's happened? Uh, well, I've been really worried that if you eat my food and you get the shit, you'll blame me. But in fact, it's the prunes. I'm putting prunes in the minced meat, you see, and prunes actually loosen things up. So I think this crowd may have been eating some prunes before they even got here. Oh, dear me, things are falling. Well, we're out fighting, and then they come. All right, so I noticed that um, when, you, when you make a demand, things happen very quickly because we've had one of the minions from the Northcote Social Club here frantically cleaning like, like well, like a mofo, actually. Um, the barbecue looks like it's going to be crystal pristine you know, in a matter a, of moments. A minion is something that swims in the sea and is very small and gets eaten by sharks. He doesn't look that type of bloke. He looks like a bloody big bruiser to me. What are you going to cook for us? I'm going to cook uh, cabbages because I think they're the cheapest thing we could get in the market and I'm going to mix with the cabbages all sorts of things that will make you not be able to taste the cabbage. The reason for that is cabbages don't taste too good but it doesn't matter if they're cheap. Who's ready for a little bit of cabbage this morning? (laughs) This is the ABC, son. We can't, you know, we don't have a budget. And there's going to be some some anchovies, some minced meat. We're putting dried apricots. I don't know why we're putting dried apricots with the minced meat, but I think, again, the apricots were cheap and then the prunes go in there as well. All right, well, Peter Russell Clark's going to be working away on the barbecue uh, as we go back to the uh, veranda at the Northcote Social Club. There we, are. there we are at the Northcote Social Club. Now, Robbie is out on the veranda with the man of the moment, Peter Russell Clark. Yeah, I just stepped onto the secondary veranda and uh, Peter Russell Clark is standing behind a very hot barbecue. You're not, not going to be nailing a five-inch nail into your face, are you? Uh, actually, five-inch nails are very good if you want to cook potatoes. <laughs> See, if you get a hot nail and shove it through the inside of a potato, the heat of the nail helps cook the potato inside. So when you put that in the oven... The bits of the nail that are sticking outside the potato carry the heat inside. How do you know this stuff? It's a bit like having a, a tamp on the top. Oh, stop it! <laughs> there's, there's no censorship here this morning. There's a boy Peter. here who's crying. Hang on, hang on a second. Let's talk food, okay? Okay, well, cooking here at the Northcote Social Club is like sort of making love in the back seat of the car. It looks very ugly, but you get, you get the job done. <laughs> yeah, we do. Phew. Now, I'm standing behind the recently cleaned barbecue uh, with Peter Russell Clark. You're co- chopping up onions and you've got a, uh, a huge bowl of, um, well, of stuff here. What have you got? Where's the fucking oil, mate? <laughs> the oil's on there. Okay. All right. We should give a language warning. There may be some words coming, just in case. Okay. So what's, what, what, are we gonna, what are we gonna do here? We're going to shove the uh, onions on. And we're going to put the minced meat Minced meat's not terribly good for you because it's got a lot of fat in it, which is the reason I've put apricots and prunes, um, a bit of garlic, 
and I can't remember what else, and it doesn't matter very much because it'll all look the same when it comes off the barbecue. Could you pass that instead of just standing there? Thank you. Thank okay, you. so you've mixed it all up in a huge bowl and you're about to throw it on the barbecue, and what are you going to do with it? I'm going to worry that I didn't cook the onions before I put this on top of it, but do you know what it's like? This is showbiz. It is showbiz. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Russell Clark in action. With just a little tiny bit of the blooper tape for you as well. Don't go anywhere because coming up next on your radio, while Peter's cooking that Eddie Curran suppression ring, are going to be playing live from Melbourne as we... Reach around I'm Triple J. Robbie's off yeah. for a little uh, wander now. Robbie, you found your way out onto the veranda yet again. Well, I'm just stepping back on, uh, on the outer veranda here where uh, Australia's favourite celebrity chef, Peter Russell Clark, has been labouring away during the course of that fantastic um, live song. How's it been going, Pete? They're saying, come and get it, they say. Oh, with, with a bit of a verb. I'm too bloody shy. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Russell Clark has just invited you to... Piss off! <laughs> <laughs> to come and get it. Now, what have you cooked for us? This, this is the same old bloody crap we had before, mate. It's, it's, well, it, it's the way you've done it, though, darling. It's, well, they all say It's minced meat and all sorts of goodies. See, the minced meat's bad for you, but all the other stuff's good for you. So instead of not shitting at all, you shit half. Okay, what have you got in there? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's like the shit. <laughs> Peter, just tell us what you... No, it's very good for you. What I've tried to do <laughs> is to make sure that you get enough fibre with the meat. The meat's got iron in it, which is that nail you were talking about before. And I think we've got a bit of muscle in here, if you look at that young fellow who was singing before. It's just about as ugly. Um, no, I think it'll be all right if we get in here. No, it's not. I'm only joking. He's a very, very, very nice young man with a website that gets a thousand hits a minute or something. Did he tell you that, did he? And you've wrapped it up in, um, in beautiful pancakes as well. So, folks, if you guys want to come and make an orderly line down here for some of Peter Russell Clark's food, then go right ahead. I figure you should, actually. Robbie, are you going to taste some yourself? No. Woo! No, oh, I'm going to cause really bad food because <laughs> I head back inside, actually. Could you head back and be safe in here? If, if that's okay. You yeah, implored everyone right. else to come and eat his food. Well, I figured that um, we'd make a few guinea pigs go down there first of all and just see what it was like and we'll see what the reaction is afterwards. But it's looking, it actually smelled really good. I know you're not going to touch any of it because no, the, uh, yeah, the dish that he cooked the just there wasn't vegan, but he did say that he was going to make some vegan fare for you. Oh, well, where's Lindsay McDougall? If you particularly care. I don't Front care. Right I, don't know. I don't know where he's gone. <laughs> We're going to take a track. We're coming to you live from Melbourne this morning. We are having a very wonderful time and hopefully wherever you are on this Monday morning, you're feeling the good vibes as we celebrate Australian music and... Reach around Australia! <laughs> Never gets to go that. It's five to nine. You're on Triple J.